Hello Gemini and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is the first card out of the pack. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the 30th through to the 6th of June. If it's your birthday I, this week, I hope you have a lovely birthday. That was the message coming in from the universe about your karmic path regarding your relationships, uh, your uh, emotions, uh, your spirit and that sort of thing. This is the karmic mission for you this week. Uh, coming up on the emotional sort of side. Funny that, you mutables seem to be getting a lot of that moon at the moment. So a lot of unforeseen things are there. Well, we'll soon find out. Let's see what's going on in your financial side. This is the uh, karmic path. Uh, this is the card for your karmic path on your financial money, your uh, business and, uh, and such. Uh, if it's been your birthday already within this first week, you might feel you're starting to go back onto that uh, moving forward phase, uh, this is how the universe is trying to influence your karmic path uh, on your financial sort of side, which looks really nice. Okay, if you want to know more about the Astro Flower, there are links and information in the description below. Uh, please go down and you'll be able to find out a lot more about the Astro Flower. I think your book is also available in a link in the description below, uh, which you can find out a lot more sort of things about it. <coughs> <coughs> first things first, I will say though, um, Gemini, uh, you've been really good supporters of this channel and um, I, I really do appreciate it. So I was just checking something was working then. Um, I really do appreciate it. We really do appreciate it here at the Astro Flower. Uh, we do feel your support and I do thank you uh, immensely, uh, Gemini, for your support that you give this channel. If you want to support this channel, and be part of the Astro Flower family. It's not complicated. It's very easy, in fact. All you need to do is subscribe and click that bell. Uh, clicking the bell is really important as well. And you'll be part of the Astro Flower family. It'd be brilliant. Okay, uh, so let's just quickly go through it. This is your relationship side, uh, emotional sort of side. This is your money, business, and jobs and projects, uh, and so forth. Um, and this is the energy that's sort of running through you, uh, the long-term karmic path, as it were. So interesting, let's see what's going on on the emotional sort of side. If it isn't your birthday yet, you're going to still be in that emotional um, and uh, spiritual sort of uh, uh, assessment of what you've been doing over the last year and, you know, what you want to do in the coming year. And you might feel a little bit tired. For those of you having your birthday this week, You'll start feeling that transition of energy coming back into your flow within the week after your birthday. And those of you who had the week, uh, your birthday last week, you probably can feel that energy coming through now. So uh, this might be quite a mixed reading. Let's just see what's going on here. Like, so, uh, you know, usually this could be conflict and uh, disputes and stuff like that. But it also could be about um, good, clean competition, uh, animal competition, natural process, as it were. Um, and I don't think the universe is going to be sort of fighting you in a way. I don't think that at all. But I think what the universe is doing here, uh, we'll get the message off that. But I, I've got a funny feeling I can feel it coming through already. Let's just see what's going on in your karmic path on that side of things. Uh, you, you've got the moon there. So I think this is tied into more people who are still waiting for their, their birthday to come up. So it's still assessing and raking over the things that we don't normally look into into our life to see what we want to do in the future and how to get ourselves in a better position each year and gradually progress down that karmic path. Um, but for, that, for, for those who have already gone through your sort of birthday, it's, it ties into the message from the universe here because from this side here, it's a lot more sort of fiery. It is a wands card, but... Um, it's almost the universe is asking you within your relationships to search or seek out the pinnacle of the best of relationships. And uh, your, your karmic path in order to do this is to start at very base levels. So while they're having expectations for other people, um, start at very basic sort of things of how you're doing, uh, you know, where do you work, uh, those sort of things, getting to know the person, getting to know the uh, and this could be within your family, within your friends, within your community, maybe getting back to know people a little bit and, and discovering the underbelly, as it were, uh, you know, the nice part, the soft part of the uh, person. So then you can build up to what the universe is trying to encourage you is at the pinnacle of, of relationships. 
So I think it's really looking at that, looking at the unforeseen things and the and the little things in life. Uh, that's your process this week. Um, and that will help you to build a foundation for much better uh, or, 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 or greater expansive relationships um, and searching for that pinnacle. This is coming in from both sides as well. So basically, what you put out is what you get back. And this is where you guys are sort of saying, okay, uh, can't quite, it may be tying into this moon, so they may, quite, may not quite see your karmic path. So they're asking you for direction. So last week, it was basically allowing your guys to um, carry you through this process, but you choose the path or the direction that you want to take. And this is where um, you can now almost instruct your guides. It's almost sort of saying to you, within your relationships, I would like to see this in our life uh, at the moment, and then your guides will go and get it for you. So that's what it seems like that. Sort of a real sort of, oh yeah, page of wands, uh, swords, sorry. Uh, page of swords, so loads of ideas coming in there in exchange of ideas through understanding and knowledge as you go from one side to the other of the precipice. That's what she's doing. And as she does that, she's being lifted up by her own ideas, by light bulb moments of realizations. And I think this is what your guides are trying to help you to do. That if you put out this, this is the realization of what you're going to get back within relationships around you. So it's a good thing to try out. It's a good thing to try out that you've never really tried within you. And I think that's where the moon comes into it. Uh, and you know, you present um, or you connect with people in a slightly different way, which is going to give you a different result. And uh, it's a good thing to play with. Uh, on a very gentle level, very, you know, uh, not invasive level. Uh, and if you do that, I think your guides will be kind of going, okay, you need this. Okay, in that case, we're going to get this for your karmic path. And they'll they're, they're really help you out. Um, you know, they really will be responsive to you. So uh, it's a case of pushing the boundaries this week and, uh, you know, exploring new avenues within you and within others. OK, let's just see how the guides are trying to influence that karmic path that was within you. Uh, not the karmic path, the conversation that is within you. Sorry, I, I realise there was something wrong with that. This is fiery, but... But also has a lot of emotions tied into it. It's all, you know, it's like being here and now, enjoying the moment, enjoy the moment. That's what the, the guys are sort of saying to you, sort of like, enjoy this. Don't worry about it. Enjoy it. Don't worry about it. Um, Night of Wands. So, uh, yeah, it's very fiery. It's living in that moment. Look at the, the horse behind her is dancing to the music and it's living freely. And I think that's more that's that's the sort of thing it's sort of saying here it's encouraging you to live life to the rhythm of life and to live in a little bit in the here and now and the rhythm of that drumbeat of passions that within you so uh yeah so it's definitely an exploratory uh week with you in regards to relationships uh seeing what works trying new things um and going with the flow and enjoying it with the passions with the people around you you could feel really at home actually it'd be really nice a little bit like a canoe that's going down the river that you don't have to really paddle it you just need to guide it that's i think i said that to you last week actually but yeah that, that sort of thing is on the relationship so let's have a look now on the uh money side on the business and the jobs and projects very nice cards here the king of cups seems to be the important part the Knight of Cups is the universe is trying to offer you those gifts of the good hard work that you've done over the last three months of assessing your life before you're going into your birthday and then you can really start on those projects. And as you do start on them, starting them from an emotional, stable place is a good idea. And I think this is what this week will be about for you is uh, anything you're doing with your job or with your business or with your projects start out approach it in a emotionally stable way so you're not 
There's no real expectations. There's no over enthusiasm. There's no uh, doom and gloom either. You know, it's very um, constructive, emotional being. That's the sort of energy that you need to put into it. If you do do that, the universe is kind of going, okay, in that case, great. Try this, try this, try this, try this. And there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you, uh, you know, that come up on the horizon. You may not need to take all of them, but there's certainly quite a lot that seems to be coming up. Just funny thing is that Page of Swords was over in that position last week. And that sort of that ideas are coming through here and allowing you to um, actually reap the harvest of those ideas. Let's see how the guides are trying to influence your karmic path on the, the money side, jobs and stuff like that. If you have, um, if you know what you're doing within your job, within your business uh, or your projects, it's almost as if like the project itself will, 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 will provide for you. If, if you've got a clear idea of where you're going and what you want out of your, your career or your business or your work, those sort of things, you, you're going to, you're going to, um, you're gonna, that your job is gonna actually start providing you opportunities without you having to push it too hard by the looks of things. So it's allowing the outside world to uh, <coughs> provide for you. I think the guides here, this Five of Cups. Now, Five of Cups is obviously a disappointment, um, you know, wasted, uh, wasted energies in, in dreams that don't really work because um, that's what the disappointment comes from. And I think this is more of a case of sort of saying here is where your guides are kind of like, they're playing a supportive role by the things, by the looks of it here. And this, I think this echoes in from last week. And they're still trying to be in a position there where they're sorting the chaff from the wheat so you're not disappointed with life. And realising, and they'll help on the, on the karmic path. So like as these gifts come in from the universe, they'll be sort of like going through them and sort of saying, we've already tried that, we've already tried that. Oh, we haven't tried that. Yeah, let that one through. They'll be, they'll be sorting out the things that stop you from being disappointed. And you'll gather that from what's around you, what's happening in the way of coincidences uh, around you. And you'll realise you'll kind of go, oh, actually, this is a bit like deja vu. No, actually, I don't want to do that. So you'll be able to let go of things a lot easier. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the um, the uh, conversation that is within you on your on that on the financial and money side. If you distract, uh, not distract, detach yourself a little bit from your job, from your business, you'll be able to see the thing, your business and the situation a lot clearer. So it's basically, it's like your guides are sort of trying to take an aerial view of what you're doing in life in, the, in regards to business uh, uh, and that sort of thing. And they're not there. They're giving you long term snaps. So uh, basically telling you that there's certain things that you probably you want to avoid this. This is this could be your this could be problems or you want to leave that. Just let it crumble away. Don't worry about that or concentrate on this because this is going to bring you to a longer term plan. So really getting a bird's eye view of of what's going on. Eight of Cups. Now the. Eight of Cups, funny enough, you had in that position that was flowing through you last week. So this is how it sort of, it's manifesting here. So this is where your guides are really trying to encourage you to move on on your path, to move on. That's what they're trying to do. And this could be within, you know, within your job or within your business and your projects. But it also is, it could be on a physical thing. So it could be you know, something as, it's not going to be for everybody, but it could be for, say, like, moving region. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, moving on from a project. Um, don't base yourself on projects like it was in the past. Uh, and it's, yeah, so it's, it's, it's progressing. It's evolving because she's moving towards the sun, as you can well see there. She's moving towards the sun away from that cup. 
So it's obviously, you've done really good work, but now it's time to move on to the big prize, which is the sun, which is pure happiness. And I think the relationships are influencing the, the money side of life at the moment, of trying to encourage people to get happiness within their jobs. So let's see how you combine these two together with the everyday uh, consciousness of the reality that we're living, that you're living in, and how best to sort of confront that reality. I, if I was you, I would concentrate more on the relationship side of life this week. You know, consolidating relationships or building relationships uh, in a much more um, proactive way. That's what it seems like here. So, um, you know, do what you got to do within the money world. Progress, you're going to do really well. It's certainly looking a really like a good future. There's no doubt about it. But as I was saying earlier on, it's almost as if like the money side needs to feed you rather than you have actually got to go get it, as it were. And I th concentrating on the relationship side will be a lot easier. Six of swords. So, you know, a rite of passage. And I think that's what that whole sort of thing of um, it is your birthday as well. So you're going through that passage from one year to another. But also I think it's for the relationship side of when you're building or you're consolidating relationships and that could be with your partner and with your family or your friends or community. It's just allowing it to happen, I think. It's, it's allowing the river to sort of guide your boat down the, you know, allowing the water to guide your boat down the river, as it were. So allow life in that rhythm of life, allow life to just guide you uh, this week. Uh, Gemini. Let's see what the overall energy is <laughs> going through you. I've got the hiccups now. What's going on? It's coming. I'm not sure if it's this week, but I think it's a general. I think it's. I don't think it's this. The week after this reading that we're doing for, so it'd be after the sixth. But it's seems to be a case of where you're getting to a point where it's like going on a journey and you know that there's a uh, a great picnic area on this journey and you're waiting to get there so you can have your meal and everything like you can have a bit of a respite uh, and stuff like that and it's a real point of delivery it seems to be like that uh going in okay so the five of pentacles yeah i you know it's money loss, that's the what you would say in the car, but it's not really on the money side, it's more within you. So it's a realization that maybe if you do things slightly differently, and they, you can see this on the money side that they're asking you to do things differently, you may feel a little bit ostracized from the norm, but that is okay, because you have the key to your future. She has the key that is just behind her that could just open that door and go through at any given point and that's mainly because she shouldn't be disappointed with life she should be you know um walking off towards that sun there's the disappointment so you know you've got two fives in there as it is uh you've got three fives in there so it's a real transitional reading as i say you know uh it could be all tied into your birthday we go into that in the in into the astro flower book of gemini you can see all of that in there. Um, uh, so, yeah, so interesting reading, interesting reading. As I say, I think there's a point of delivery for all of this coming up in the next sort of month. And you might be able to see that in the monthly readings which we're going to do on this channel. So if you want to see them, uh, you're going to have to subscribe and click that bell so then you get the notifications. And then you become part of the Astro Flower family. It's really easy. And we'd love to have you here. We also do lots of stuff on Instagram. We also have our sister channel, Cymatic TV, where we do energy updates, which you might want to have a look into. Uh, in the meantime, Gemini, uh, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.